This is my dog. Her name is Danny. Absolutely beautiful, isn't she? And she listens to me sometimes too. Sit. Hey girl. See she. So why do I need a backpack for Danny? No, it's not to make her feel important or to give her a job. It's to stop her from pulling. Pulling you ask? She seems to be a really quiet dog. Well, I'll show you what I mean by pulling. I mean this. And this. Let's not forget this. So I'm making a backpack for Danny in the hopes of weighing her down so she doesn't pull so much when I walk her. So let's get into the tutorial. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need two pouches, one obviously for each side. You're going to need some straps. You're going to need some cotton for sewing if you're going to be hand sewing like I am. And if you want to add some bling, you can always sew some beads or some diamantes onto your doggy backpack as well. Now I got my straps off an old cheap bag I had at home just hanging around and I actually encourage you to use nylon as opposed to leather or maybe a plastic because it's going to make the dog sweat and you don't want the dog to be uncomfortable. And nylon is also very very strong so that's important to make sure that when you weigh the backpack down it doesn't break. I got my pouches from an old makeup bag I had at home and I just cut it in half. Fortunately for me, the makeup bag that I use has a layer of foam on the inside. So that's going to make the bag much more comfortable for Danny when she's wearing it. Now when I cut the bag in half, one of the pouches is open at the bottom. So I'm going to sew it closed and I'm actually going to use a back stitch for this. If you have a strong glue, you can use that, but I prefer to use thread and to stitch it up because that will actually make it much stronger. And then um, I'll show you kind of what that back stitch looks like and we'll get on with the rest of it. So we're all done stitching up and I'll show you how neat it looks on the outside. The next thing I did was stitch the two straps on as you can see here and I just didn't really care about how it looked. I stitched it on the side that would be laying against the dog so I didn't have to worry about the way that it looked. So I just stitched and stitched over a lot of times to make sure that the strap would be sturdy. Then as you can see there's a loop in the strap. What happened was I attached it a little too long so when I went outside and tried it on the dog I had to um, bring the strap up a little bit so I just folded it up and stitched it down again and this is what it looks like so this side that you're gonna see is actually the side that will be showing I know it's a little odd to have the transparent side showing as opposed to having it against the dog but as I was showing you in the beginning the purple side is where the foam is and I want to make this as comfortable for my dog as possible I don't really care how it looks and what I'm showing you is how I have chosen to weigh the bag down I just put some bottles of water in it uh, one big bottle and a half size and you want to make sure that the two pouches are even on all two sides so I, I have equal amounts of water in both the left and the right side of the pouch of the backpack so the backpack is all done and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I put it on Danny the one thing I didn't do was attach a hook onto it that was my intention but laziness set in and I didn't worry about it I also didn't worry with the bling 
again laziness set hold but it would be better if you guys can attach a hook onto it so you can hook it onto the collar or onto the, the breast strap with the dog so that it will be really sturdy so this is what it looks like and we're gonna put it on Danny now and show you how it looks on her So you want to make sure that um, it's even when you put it on the dog and also that none of the straps are twisted because that can be really uncomfortable it can pinch the dog so you just want to make sure that the straps are flat and that it's even on both sides and as easy as that you have made a backpack for your dog and as you can see Danny doesn't mind having it on Danny's a pretty cool dog she doesn't get stressed out or worried about stuff like that but you might need to introduce it to your dog um, slowly if your dog is, is the kind of dog that gets anxious and worried about things but you can see Danny's okay she doesn't even doesn't even seem like she's got anything on she's going on about her business um, and unfortunately for me the backpack didn't work she was a little too comfortable with it I would have had to put too much weight in the backpack for it to actually slow her down so with the backpack on it made no difference to the way that Danny was pulling so I don't use that as much as I intended to but this is just a great DIY for you guys to try um, you never know if you just want your dog to be able to walk with its own stuff for a short distance or whatever You can make one of these and hook it onto the shoulder harness or onto the collar and you're good to go So I hope this DIY tutorial was helpful to you guys and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. -bye.